hi guys you are welcome to my channel uh today we'll be continuing the video on how to trade xaususd that's gold uh the last time we spoke about um some methods or ways by which you can trade gold and in the first video we talked about top down analysis top down analysis where you get to review the market structures on the time frames uh then you can start your review from the higher time frames down to the lower time frames we also discussed um uh, in that particular first video about the candle color and momentum where you get to review uh the population or numbers of the green candles on this on the charts and compare that with the population of the red candles. We also check for candle lengths and weeks for information. If you go to the first video, you get to see these two uh, topics uh, explained in that particular video. The second video we discussed about uh, how you can plot trend lines on the chart, uh, where you get to drag the trend line tools to from the left side of the price chart to the right side. From one candlestick week to another, from tip to tip. You also note that trend line breakout. Uh, you can note the trend line breakout by price for trade entry. All right. In the second video, we also discussed about how to identify the price liquidity zones. Price liquidity zones on the chart. Okay. When you are trading gold, you check for areas on the chart where price has formed pin bars. This may be bearish or bullish pin bars. These zones of pin bars are known as liquidity zones. Price may attempt to reach or test these zones for clearance. So we discussed that in the second video and today we'll be talking about um, you marking up uh, the market structure, the higher high higher low lower high and lower low on the screen so we're gonna to go to the chart now uh there's a gold chart this is a monthly time frame uh we'll look at how we can mark up our higher highs higher lows lower highs lower lows okay going back to the text we have that you identify the high and low of price from the left side of the chart then you mark up the higher high, the higher low, lower high, and lower low price progression on the chart. Because the market structure is characterized by a minimum of two bullish or bearish candle, candles for formation. All right, so going to the charts, we start with this side of the chart. All right, talking about this side of the chart this is the left side leftmost side of the chart all right so that's a low we can mark it as a low all right let's mark that side as a low all right okay that's my low okay now i can call this particular part high high point on the chart I mark it with h okay all right so if we go back to the text says market structure is characterized by minimum two or two or two i meant two or more bearish or bullish candle formation all right so we have one two these two bearish candles all right and this makes it three bearish candles so we have three two or three we have three here so we can mark this as our higher low this low area is higher than this low area so we can put our h help here higher low okay higher low hl and target black and turn this to 20. okay so this is our higher low because we have two at least two candles uh, turning against this particular 
uh, low to high point so do we have two or more candles obviously we have two or more candles in this particular push up so we can call this our higher high because this high point is higher than this high point i'm talking about this high point is higher than this very high point so it's going to be called higher high all right so we can mark that with hh higher high that this particular point is our higher high now do we have two successive uh drop of very bearish candles uh we have this bearish candle here but this subsequent candle is a bullish candle so and we also have a bearish candle here and subsequent one the bullish candle so we might ignore this point and proceed to this particular point or this particular point where we have the formation of another bearish candle and do we have successive yes we can see these two uh candles around here i'm talking about this first one our first bearish candle and this is our second bearish candle these two candles are enough for us to have our higher high so i'm going to move this particular higher high to this point this is where we have our higher high and then the the low lowest part of these two successive bearish candles will form our higher low all right i'm going to put the higher low here we are still on the monthly time frame and we are marking up the structure our market moves so we have the low high higher low higher high higher low of course can we have high high yes we can we have two successive a minimum of two successive bullish candles okay so this the point the highest point will be our higher high this highest point will be our higher high on the monthly uh, time frame talking about this point okay do we have two successive uh, bearish candles after that yes we definitely have but it continues up to uh this particular point i did be we have two successive uh bullish candles around along this line we could have had another higher low or higher high or lower high or something but it's just one bullish candle so we look at the end of it this is where we have the end of it so we can call this point higher low it's our higher low All right now do we have two success yes we have two successive bullish candles so we can now call this lower high this is our lower high the reason why we're calling it lower high is uh this particular low i'm talking about this uh particular high this particular high is lower than this particular high all right this high height here the high of the candles here is lower than this so that's that's what makes it lower than high had it been this bullish two bullish candles progress towards the top above this top here then we have a higher high but in as much as it didn't really go up much before dropping you can call this lower high all right okay so looking back at how we were able to mark up the higher high higher lows lower highs lower lows let's look at the market structure we have a low here we have a high higher low higher high higher low higher high higher low now we now have a lower high okay so now we'll be looking for two successive bearish candles do we have now so this still assumed to be an uptrend here but is this a bearish candle the open candle the open uh point is 18 14.29 and it closed at 18 it closed at 18 14.05 so that's a bearish candle so we have a bearish candle here we have another bearish candle this is a two, these two successive bearish candles so the lowest point of these two successive bearish candles can be called our low okay and this is the lowest point 
So now looking at this, we have a higher low, lower high. Okay. And now this is going to give us higher low again. It's going to give us higher low. Reason is that this low, this whichever is lower, which is lower, this but the low of this point, we have uh sixteen seven six point six seven. What's the low of this point? We have sixteen eight one. Okay, this low eight one is higher than this low seven six. All right, so this is lower, this is higher. All right, so that's why we have it as higher low. All right. Adi it drops below this low, then we call it lower low. But it's still we have still have a tiny bit of space around here. That's why it's called higher low. That means this particular low is higher than this particular low. Now this is the low. Now can we find two successive bullish candles? Yes, these are two successive bullish candles, and the top of it will be our high. Now remember the last high is a lower high because when we have lower high, higher low, this is going to be a higher high. Still on the monthly time frame, it's going to be our higher high. Okay. All right, that's that. That's our higher high. Okay, do we have two successive bearish candles? Of course, the first two candles are bearish candles okay and the end of it is this point so we have a higher high this is going to be a lower low because this low is lower than this particular low which is the last low so this is going to give us lower low okay so this is going to be give us our lower low. Do we have two successive bullish candles? Of course, these are this. The first two candles are successive bullish candles on the monthly time frame. And the end of it, do we have the end of it? Can this be our end? Are there two successive bearish? No. So it still continues until this point where we now have two successive bearish candles. So this is the end of it. The end of the trend. All right. So we're gonna I'm gonna call this lower high or higher low what are we going to call it let's first of all look at this high okay it's not up to that very high so we're going to call it um uh higher low not higher high now it's going to be higher low higher low okay should it be higher low or lower high I think it should be lower high. It should be lower high because it's not is a high, but it's lower than the this is the previous high. This is a high, but it's not as higher than it's not higher than this previous high. So it's gonna be a lower high. All right. Okay, so we have low high. Higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, lower high, higher low, higher high, lower low, lower high. Now, do we have two successive bearish candles? Yes, we have two successive bearish. But along the line on this trend, do we have two successive bullish candles for us to establish a low here? No. So it drops here, and this is the last point. Now, this being the last point, the month is still on, it's not closed yet. So if we have two successive bullish candles on the monthly time frame, let's assume uh, this particular current candle end up as a bullish candle to the top. And we have two successive uh, bullish candles. Okay. So then we'll call this after the closure of the monthly can this particular monthly candle, call this I uh, low all right why are we calling it higher low because this is a low this will be another low okay this is a particular low this will be another low but this 
another low is higher than this initial low all right so that makes it a higher low of course it should be a higher low because looking at the last month's candlestick is a bullish engulfing candlestick this candlestick engulfs totally covers the previous month's candlestick so we expect this current candle to close as a bullish candle but if it does not close as a bullish candle all right but rather closes as a bearish candle let's assume it closes as a bearish candle let's see how it, let's try and find a scenario where it closes as a bearish candle it drops lower that means this point will give us we have a lower low we have a lower high this will still give us a low a higher low all right and if the successive candle continues as a bearish candle still, still give us higher low because no matter what it is not dropped it does not drop below this low all right until when we now have another monthly candle form and it drops below this very low okay breaking that low they will now have another lower high okay so it's just a scenario uh, that um, we are you know forecasting it might not happen this way it might happen this way of course if it happens this way this will be a triple top one two three it will be a triple top for for price to continue to go down but this is just the forecast it might not happen it might happen for now last month's candlestick is a bullish engulfing candlestick so we might see price go up okay looking at quickly looking at the weekly candle uh, weekly chart this is our low we start just like we started the way we started on the monthly chart we start with the low high or high low before we start progressing the market structure so quickly on the weekly chart we have a low let we have a low here it's our low around here it's our low we have two successive bullish candles that is a high okay all right now do we have two successive bearish candles no all right so this is another high do you have two successive bearish candles no this is another high do you have two no this is another high do you have two successive no up until here where we have two successive bearish candles for us to have a trend around this point so we're going to move this particular high to this point until we have two successive candles on this bearish candles on this particular trend trend path until we have two successive bearish candles on this particular trend path, path before we mark the highest point at the high and then mark the next point at the higher low okay do you know why we're marking the next point as higher low is because of the two successive bearish candlesticks which happen around here now the next turning turn, the next trend upward we have two success of course the first two candles happen to be two successive bullish candles okay now where do we have two successive bearish candles? we have two successive bearish candles around here so we are going to mark this point the top of that particular two successive bearish candles as the higher high okay and the bottom as the higher low okay this is our higher low you can see low high higher low higher high higher low do you have two success of course the next two candlesticks higher higher high do we have two successive bearish no so we still have two bullish success so instead of us putting our higher high next higher high here we're going to put it here in as much as we do not have 
two successive bearish candles along this trend so we are going to put it as put this point at our higher high right now they will do the trend this way we have two successive bearish. of course the first two candlesticks are bearish candlesticks so of course we're going to have a lower is it going to be a lower high which is the high los uh what is the low around here the low around here is 1934.08 while well, the low around here is 1931 so this is low lower than this low so it's, it's going to give us lower low lower low okay we can see price moving from a low point here to a high point around here to a higher low higher high higher low higher high now we now have a lower low because this particular low all right this particular low mm, is lower than this low here okay do we have two successive bullish candles yeah these next following candles are two successive bullish candles so this is our lower high this forms our lower high okay all right this forms our lower high do you have two successive bearish candles around the part yes the first two candles are bearish so the lowest point around here will be our lower low This will be our lower low. All right. We have two successive bullish. Of course, the next two candles are bullish. So this will be our now the 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 identification of this high. This particular high is lower than this high. So this will be higher high. This high is higher than this high. So it will be higher high. We're still on the weekly time frame this will be higher high all right we have two successive bearish of course we have two successive so this, this is a low and this low is obviously lower is lower than this low okay this particular low is lower than this low so we're going to have a lower low around here all right of course, two total bullish candles. It's going to be a lower high. Lower high. All right. Now, do we do have two successive bearish? Yes, we have two successive bearish along this line. Let me delete these horizontal lines. We have two successive bearish candles along this line. So. Uh, the low point which is around here will be our lower low all right now do we have two successive bullish candles of course it's two, so this is going to be a give us higher high still on the weekly time frame it's going to give us higher high we have two successive bearish of course we do this is going to give us higher low now it's going to give us higher low higher low all right so that's that for the weekly time frame you can see price progressing from lower low to high higher low higher high higher low higher high lower low lower high lower low higher high lower low lower high lower low higher high higher low now okay and the, this week candle has closed if the next week candle closes at the bullish candle close at the bullish candlestick the next candle close at the bullish candlestick and then put a bullish candle down here for next week okay then we will have another higher high for us to have a trend upward trend so that's that for today's video. See you in the next video.